Hey guys, Tua Cruz here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a first look at the brand new camera from Insta360. This is the X3 360 camera. This is the upgraded new and improved version of the One X2, which has been our favorite camera by Insta360. Really awesome, easy to use 360 camera. And in today's video, we're gonna be testing out the camera in a bunch of different situations. So we're gonna do a little walking test here, and we're also gonna be doing a main test here on our bicycle. Insta360 also released a brand new cycling mount. Here, you can see it on our handlebars. This can mount the 360 camera in the front. You can mount another camera on the bottom. You can mount your computer or light on the top. We'll be going over all of that in today's video. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go. Let's go. So first we're gonna start with the unboxing, but if you wanna continue with our ride, I'll leave some timestamps down below so you can skip ahead to the part of the video that you wanna watch. So first, let's take a quick look at the box itself and see some of the new highlighted features. This captures 360 video in 5.7K. It does have a new single lens mode, so you can just film with one of the lenses if you want and film a direct flat video instead, so it gives you both options. It does have an upgraded photo to 72 megapixels for the camera. Also filming in HDR video. The same awesome features as before, the invisible selfie stick and flow state stabilization. 360 horizon lock, waterproof to 10 meters. Voice control and also some nice AI editing features in their software. So let's go ahead and take a look inside of the box. We've got the full camera here and beautiful display in the center. Some extra accessories packed inside here, but first let's take a look at the camera itself. So we've got both lenses on the front and back that allows us to get the full 360 view range. And this beautiful front display here, just look how massive that is. That's a huge change from the previous camera, which was a little bit difficult to work with sometimes. We've got the power button here on the right side, so we can just Press that, the camera will turn on automatically. So nice big screen so you can preview whatever that you're looking at. You can also easily change the menu to whatever you want to film. So if you want to film HDR video, regular video, photos, whatever you want to use, it's really easy to navigate with this large screen. And we've got our start record button down here on the bottom left. This is our battery pack here on the bottom left. And this little patch here is gonna be the USB-C for charging or data transfer. Overall, the camera feels really solid, really premium quality. And of course, we've got our adapter down in the bottom so we can attach this to the selfie stick. So speaking of accessories, let's start talking about what else came in the box. So inside the box, we've got this cleaning towel, which is really good. You always wanna keep the lens clean on the 360 cameras. Mine also came with this nice SD card, which is always appreciated with new cameras, USB-C charger, and this case is also really nice because it helps protect the camera. You can still also access the, the charging section here when this is in the case, so that's nice. When you're not using this camera, you always wanna keep it in a safe location. Some other really nice accessories we'll be testing out today is the invisible selfie stick. So this extends really long, a really nice accessory, perfect addition to the camera itself. Some other accessories I really recommend is the lens cap. This goes on the camera just like this and protects the most important part. So really nice accessory if you don't wanna use the, the full case all the time. And really nice solid protective rubber here. One other accessory we'll be testing out today, which I'm really, really excited for, is the new third person bike handlebar mount. So here's everything that's in the box, two main parts. This is the main part that's gonna mount on your handlebars, so on both sides of your stem here. And it also gives a few other mounting options. So on the bottom, you got a universal action mount. You've also got this quarter inch mount here and another universal action mount at the top. So we can mount three different accessories on this at once. It also comes with this extension pole, so you can use this out in the front to extend the action camera in front of the bicycle. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. So that's the camera and all of the accessories that we'll be using in today's video. If you're interested in any of these items, we'll have our affiliate link down below from Insta360 so you can get a little discount off of your order and also get a few extra free accessories with your order. We also wanna say a big special thank you to Insta360 for helping sponsor this video today 
and giving us special early access to test out and review this camera. We've been using their cameras for over a year now. We used the previous edition of this camera, the X2. It's been one of our favorite cameras and it's really nice to have a solid, dedicated 360 camera and I'm really excited to see what kind of video we can get on today's ride. So let's go ahead and we'll see you out on the road. All right guys, here we are back outside. Let's start filming some tests with the new camera. First, we're gonna do some handheld tests while walking. This is the Insta360 invisible extension stick. So you can get some really nice shots further away from yourself and the stick will be completely invisible, which is really cool. Let's test that out. All right guys, here we go. This is our first video with the new camera. How does it look? Bright and sunny today, really hot as always here in Vietnam. So we're gonna do a quick little walking test. The stabilization on the 360 cameras is always really good. So I imagine this is gonna be really nice, really smooth. And let's test it out in the different sunlight conditions. Also do a little running test. So this thing should be buttery smooth. And the other really cool thing about this is with the extension stick, we can extend this really far away. Just hold it out, going for a little walk here, and we can get some nice photos this way as well. You can see our bikes over here. We got Tun Chan's bike over on this side and mine over here. Let's see, can we get a cool shot above the rock? So with the extension pole, you can get some cool shots that way. Pretty nifty. <laughs> There's a, some bind me sandwich on top of the rock. And the shot that I'm really excited about is to use this mount, so let's test this out. So let's screw this on here, tighten down this clamp, and we're gonna keep the one lens up front so it's looking straight at us. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out. This is a really awesome mount. You can see it mounts on both sides of the handlebars here, and there's a couple different options here. I've attached this Garmin mount here so you can attach your cycling computer. So there's the perfect setup. We got the cycling computer up top. We got the extension rod for the 360 camera up front. And on the bottom, you can put a light. You can put another action camera here. This is a cool setup because you can film yourself riding this way, but you can also get the high quality 4K action shots with a dedicated 4K action camera. So we've got there just as a backup, but we shouldn't need it. We're just gonna be filming with this guy today. All right, guys, here we are with the first cycling test of the new camera. And we got Tun Chan riding off to the side here. So the cool thing about 360 cameras is you have every angle imaginable that you can show in the video. So I can show this interesting bike in front of us that we're passing right now. And I can show the road straight ahead. I can show the street vendors off to the side, or I can show our beautiful faces, or at least her beautiful face, not so much mine. And Oh wow. Yeah, that's the other great thing about these cameras is like you never know when something interesting is going to happen and with it always filming, you can show every direction. So all the little nifty things that we pass on our ride. So for today's ride, we're actually cycling down to Hoi An, which is another popular tourist city. It's actually really close to Da Nang. It's about a 20 kilometer ride down there, or I think it's closer to 30K. Anyway, we're riding down there and hopefully we'll be able to get some interesting shots with the camera. It's a really different vibe compared to Da Nang here, which is more of a city vibe. Hoi An is more of a traditional city here in Vietnam. So hopefully we can get there before the sun sets and get some nice, beautiful shots. You gotta be careful with people always crossing the road here. So this road was recently repaved, so nice and smooth. This is under construction for a while, so it's good to see this out of construction right now. So Tuan Chan's gonna take the lead for a bit. And we'll show you guys what it looks like, the camera view with someone else riding in front. I used to be the one who was always riding in front and Tun Chan getting the nice draft, but recently she's getting really strong, strong enough to be pulling me around now. Actually, this is Tun's second ride today. She got up extra early, 4 a.m. this morning to do another hill climb challenge. She improved her PR again, so she's just been crushing it lately, working really hard. And you'll notice, Along this road, there's all these massive like hotels, like beach resorts. There's a bunch of those here, a bunch of them also under construction. So yeah, just resort city here. Yeah, check out that massive hotel resort over there. It looks like it's still under construction. It looks like part of the road still is under construction. So 
So we gotta go over here just for a little bit. That's not too bad. That's really short. Normally we would go straight here, but this part is also under construction. Oh, we got some loose gravel here. So how does the, the camera hold up on all the bumps? Should do okay. The 360 cameras tend to have better stabilization than the normal 4K action cameras. They just have so much video data to work with. It's amazing how stable these are actually. There's a bunch of these cool companies over here that make all these like, like carvings and statues and cool structures. So it's really cool to pass by them. Some of them are really massive, really cool looking. I don't want to know how expensive some of those must be. How are you feeling, Tunchan? Are you pretty tired? No. Not tired? Not tired. Oh wow, she did a hill climb this morning. She's not tired. <laughs> Super girl. Yeah. Super woman. Not yet. Not, yet. not yet? Yeah. <laughs> So she's going to become Superwoman. Here we go, we got some more statues over here. So this is another interesting little road here. We got Market here, right on the main road. A bunch of kids getting off from school. And it is really cool to see a lot of the kids here do commute by bike. Um, although they are kind of riding the opposite direction on the road. That's just the way things are done here. Lots of kids on bikes, love it. Now I just wish they had a little bit of a safer space to ride, but people seem to take care when there's kids around on the street, so that's good. All right, guys, we've made our way over here to Hoi An. We're actually going to start over by the beach side, which is really cool. I want to show you guys. It's really beautiful. And then we'll work our way back over towards the more historical area. So there aren't as many tall buildings here, and it's a really nice, quaint little atmosphere especially once you get more towards the old quarters. There's also a bunch of like farm area, rice fields and lots of rivers. It's really beautiful. But right now we're making our way towards the, the beach area. Tuntun's leading the way. Really colorful, loving all the green, all the nature, the flowers everywhere and the doggies. And here we are, straight ahead we got the beach. We're gonna go down to another nice viewpoint right down here. Here we are guys, the viewpoint. Wow, there's no one out here today. Let's check this out. Oh. Usually more in the evening time, there's a couple food stands here, lots of people getting their snacks while enjoying the beautiful views. Let's check this out. Oh, fishing. fishing. <laughs> yeah, Tung wants to do fishing. Really windy right now. Check out some of these massive waves. Would be great for surfing, but probably don't want to wash up on these rocks right here. While we're here, this is another accessory I wanted to try. This is the bullet time cord. So we just screw this on. You can see this is an extension cord. so. We can swing the camera, get an interesting shot. So first I'm gonna put the camera on bullet time mode. This is 4K, 120 frames per second. And I don't want this to touch the ground, but <laughs> let's give this a shot. Woo! Okay, that was a lot of fun. Uh, let us know what you guys think of that shot. There's a bunch of interesting modes on this camera that you can use in the application and we're only testing out a few of them today but let us know what you think. Do you guys like it? Anyway, we're starting to lose the sunlight here so we gotta rush over to Hoi An Old Town and let's start heading over that way. And while we're cycling over to the Old Town, I wanna do another test. So I'm using the same mount but you can change the angle of the extension rod. So before, this whole ride I've been just doing it flat, like straight out in front of the bike. So that gives you a further out perspective. Right now I've angled it more upwards, so you should be getting a nicer view of myself. It's closer to my face. And we're also riding into the sunset right now, so we should have some good lighting on us right now. That's another pro tip. When you're filming with action cameras, I always get asked like, how do you film and get such good quality out of your cameras? 
And one of the most important things is where you're like holding the camera, how you're holding it. Are you keeping it steady as possible? And also lighting. Lighting is huge. So you always, as much as possible, want to film like in the direction of the sunlight, not into the sun. When you film directly into the sun, you're not going to get, you're just going to get more harsher shadows. Oh, check out these interesting trucks here. Also the cool bridge over here. Check that out. Yeah, I think that's another nice thing about this higher angle is when the camera's too low, sometimes you guys can't see like things I want to show you because there's some kind of wall or blockade. But if the camera's more high up, you can see over those. They got the dolphin garbage cans. Those are cute. Got a little gas station here and oh, we're going over this cool little bridge. We got the rainbow flags and hopefully you can see over the, the barrier here. But nice sunset view over the river. Yeah, you can see it here. Beautiful. Yeah, these are the kind of views that you can enjoy here in Hoi An. Nice vibe. Canopy trees, bicycles, rice fields, sunset. Does it get better? Speed bumps. <laughs> Little ones, that's okay. I can deal with those. Here we are guys, I think we found it. Gonna go nice and slow through here. Lots of traffic, open intersections. I love these bikes, these are really cool. I think that'd be a cool job, just riding people around, get to talk to them. We should start our own company with those. You can ride with me or you can ride with Toon Chan. I'm sure most people will choose her, but that's okay. Okay, here we are. So there's a bunch of shops here. This is actually my first time coming here since we moved here, like on the inside. Tung's come here a few times with her friends. I'm not too interested in shopping though, so. But it is a cool vibe. It's actually not too busy right now. I remember when we came here before, a couple years ago, like we couldn't, we could barely walk. Good time to come, get some photos. Looks like a good time. Okay, so I guess there's two famous bridges here. This is the old, like, Japanese bridge. And this way we can get all of our mandatory selfies. Here we go. So you can get a closer look over here. So we're going to keep walking over here. There's a bit more people and we're, we're pretty close to the other main river here. So that's the other great thing I love about this camera is we can just hold it. I don't have to really care about like where I'm holding it. I can position it anywhere and I can always angle it in the exact direction that I want to show you guys. Here we are. We're by the river so you can get a ride on one of these boats. It's really beautiful at the evening time. There's the other famous bridge over here. All right guys, we're gonna wrap up this video here. We hope you guys enjoyed today's review of the new Insta360 ONE X3 camera. Let us know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. And also we'll leave some links down below to all the equipment that we're using. And once again, a big thank you to Insta360 for helping sponsor this video and supporting our channel. You can use our links down below to get some nice discounts on their new camera here and some extra free accessories as well. Also, we want to say a big thank you to all of our awesome supporters over on Patreon. Thanks to your guys' support, we're able to continue filming videos on our channel like this. And thank you as always guys for watching. We'll see you next time here on Tula Cruise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.